Hello from here book tubes and today is my top five books of December. In December I read 27 books out of that 11 were five stars but several of those were rereads and things connected with the Kate Daniel series so I'm not including any of those in my top five. So here we go. Number one, Yours Insatiably, which is Hunger Duet number two by Avita Weiss. This is the continuation from Feed of Pi and Averin. Averin is a prickly, uptight succubus. They work in a museum together. Pi is an artist, chaotic, goth energy, non-binary, and they had hooked up. They didn't plan on it but Hubuses obviously need sexual energy to live and so she uses a service and he was the one that came for the service. They didn't know that would be each other. She could have refused. She decided to go with it. He has a thing for her and they had one very hot night together. Now it's a few weeks later and they're at work and it turns out that because she is a consultant basically she works for a different company she can't do fraternization in the company without getting fired. That's not true for Pi, but because of that, they decide to just kind of be friends. But she is suppressing her succubus side and she doesn't really know any of the monster side of the city. And so Pi offers to show her around to introduce her to people and try and help her. So they do. It's lovely. It's really Pi scaling her walls and making her fall for him. I loved their happy for now. I loved their dynamic as usual. And I kind of loved the crossover with skin in here where you see Harbinger and Flint. Is that right? <laughs> Not great with names and books at all. But I loved that scene. I thought it was hilarious. And yeah, I just really absolutely adored it. If you want paranormal, queer, erotic, but romance perfection, this is where it's at. <laughs> Then I have Dreamkeeper, which is Dream Team number four by Kristen Ashley. This is her stripper and commando series. So all the girls are the strippers at Smithy's, but they've also kind of segued into burlesque type things. And all the commandos work for the commando, who is the main guy in Mystery Man. This is like a spin-off series. It's great if you read a lot of Kristen Ashley books, then you recognize a lot of the characters, even if you're starring the series. But this is a single mom and her ex was cheating on her the entire time that they were married and she didn't realize it. And so she really has trust issues. She hasn't introduced anybody to her daughter. Her ex kind of has a constant stream of women. So she's trying to offset that by not having any men. So she's basically decided that for like the next seven years, she's not, she's not dating. And this commando is perfect for her and she really, really, really wants to date him, but she just feels like she can't. And because of that, she's kind of stringing him along and he's very much over it. He has his own family issues, his own backstory where women have not treated him well. And so he's done. So they have like a not great beginning <laughs> at the beginning of this book, but things are happening. He steps in to help her and also her daughter is trying to set them up. And so that really moves things along. You have content warnings for cancer of a parent. You have content warnings for cancer not being treated because of religious reasons. You have content warnings for religious trauma, cult, all of that. So tread carefully. However, I did love it. My last three are all Christmas novellas. So the first one is Dipped in Holly by Dana Isley. She finds out that her fiance is cheating at her at a bar and ends up hooking up with the hot, much older bar owner and they have a very kinky hookup that turns into more and it was great. <laughs> Don't have a lot to say about it but I did love it. Then I have Mistlefoe, A Mead Realm Tale by Kimberly Lemming. This is fantasy romance and you have a demon who needs a fake mate so that he can get his territory approved and a female blacksmith who her dad got cursed by the demon because he stole Milo from him and all of their weapons are shouting obscenities at customers and she has a talking sword due to the curse and the sword gets her in a lot of issues but they have an instant connection and I loved how the demons incorporate the human kind of Christmas traditions with their demon traditions and I just kind of loved all of it. There was a female demon who was unnecessarily the catty other woman but and that didn't ruin it for me. Demons do have a huge shortage of females and that's part of why in the first book and this book you get them mated with a human. And this was a fox demon shifter which was pretty cool. 
Also, I loved because the fox was white and his hair was white, but his skin was like super dark. I kind of loved that visual and the cover, the cover, love it. But I loved that the white fox shifted into a human demon with white hair. I liked that. You might think that's dumb, but for me, I was like, yeah, yeah, I like this. And then lastly, I have a second chance road trip for Christmas, which is Holidays with the Wongs number two by Jackie Lau. I loved this. This is so sweet. You have the very quiet, very serious older brother of the Wong family who are Chinese Canadians. And then you have the black girl who is like the only black girl in their school. And they were like high school sweethearts and to college sweethearts, but they went to different colleges. They were going different cities. They had different paths for their life. And so they decided to split. It was very amicable. They still loved each other and have always kind of looked back fondly at each other. Now they're in their early 30s, they're in the same city, life is very different, it's the perfect time to give each other a second chance. There's snow forts, there's forced proximity, snowed in, only one bed, just I loved it. They were so sweet to each other. I really love this. No internal conflict and all of the family. I love the family. It's great. So that's it. Those are the best books that I've read in December. My favorites, obviously super short this time around, but read these if you haven't. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.